with Crime Stoppers. Now, Prince Harry has said that he always felt different to the rest of the royal family and that his mother felt the same. He made the comments as part of his latest interview since the publication of his book, Spare. Daniela Ralph reports. For an hour and a half, they talked. It had the feel of a therapy session. Prince Harry on grief, family and trauma. Well, I certainly don't see myself as a victim. Yeah. Um, I'm really grateful to be able to share my story. Mm. I do not and I have never looked for sympathy in this. You had to buy a ticket to watch the online conversation. Each one came with a copy of Spare. Harry described writing his book as an act of service and spoke of feeling trapped within the royal family. I always felt sli uh, slightly different yeah. to the rest of my family. Um, I felt strange being in this um, Contain. container. Yeah. Um, and I know that my mum felt the same. Now 38 years old, dad to a son and a daughter. He vowed not to repeat what he saw as past mistakes. I, as a father, feel a huge responsibility mm. to ensure that I don't pass on any traumas that, mm. or any, I guess, negative experiences that I've, that I've had as a, as a kid or as a, a man growing up. Harry was candid about his own mental health. Um, Dr. Gabor Mate even diagnosed him as having attention deficit disorder the condition that affects behaviour, and they spoke of using psychedelic medication. I started doing it recreationally mm -hmm. and then started to realise how good it was for me. Um, and it, and it, I, I, I would say that it is one of the fundamental parts of my life that changed me yeah. um, and helped me deal with the traumas and the pains of the past. On serving in Afghanistan, not all of us agreed with the war, he said, but we did what we were trained to do. There was so nothing about his current relationship with the royal family. No questions on whether he'd be at his father's coronation. And as to his wife, Meghan, he described her as an exceptional human being, to whom he was eternally grateful. Daniela Ralph, BBC News. Now this is a story that you uh, you might have heard about yesterday. I don't know whether you've ever heard a sonic boom, but people in the Midlands, Concord used to do a sonic boom when it went uh, when it went supersonic. But people in the Midlands and across the centre of England yesterday witnessed one. It's caused when planes fly faster than the speed of sound. Oh, you'd have wondered what it was, wouldn't you? Uh, people in Leicestershire, Northamptonshire. An Oxfordshire reported hearing that bang, uh, which actually caused some uh, homes to shake. The Ministry of Defence says that RAF Typhoon jets were authorised... Oh, there we go. Someone else's doorbell camera got it. Uh, yeah. ...were authorised to fly at supersonic speed after contact was lost with a civilian aircraft. So mm. it was allowed. 